My name is Kathy Martin and I'm the creator of PreAlgebraTeachers.com. I help teachers work smarter and not harder so that we can spend more time with those we love and less time lesson planning and searching the internet for quality curriculum for our pre-algebra classrooms. So I just wanted to hop on today and share with you an awesome new activities all about rate ratios. If you are already a member of our PreAlgebraTeachers.com community, you can access this exact activity in the community. All you have to do is log on into the forums and it will be under chapter seven. If you are not in the PreAlgebraTeachers.com community, you'll be able to feel free to join our community and you'll be able to access this activity along with a ton of other awesome engaging activities for your pre-algebra students. This activity is all about ratios and we are going to use M&Ms today. It's super fun. I want to show you, I know a lot of teachers are teaching ratios this time of year, so I wanted to show you how this activity works because it's really fun and really engaging. I just did this activity with my students yesterday and they loved it. So here we go. Okay, so the activity looks like this. It is M&M ratios. You will need a bag of M&Ms. So being that it's Halloween time, um, these are just the fun size M&Ms. You can use one bag, you can use two bags, you can use a full size bag, and you're just gonna give each student a bag of M&Ms. If you can't use M&Ms, feel free to use Skittles, you could use Cheerios, not Cheerios, you could use Lucky Charms, you can use marshmallows. If, you don't, if you're not allowed to use food in your class, Feel free to just cut up some construction paper and use, you know, use different colored construction paper to um, use as manipulatives. So you don't necessarily need food, but M&Ms definitely makes it more fun. So I'm going to go ahead and separate my M&Ms out into colored categories, and then I'm going to count them. So I have one red. I have one, two, three, four green. I have three yellows. I have zero blues three browns and four oranges. So this activity is going to require that I total this up. So I have one plus four is five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 total. And then we're just gonna create the following ratios. So in box number one, it says number of red M&Ms to number of blue M&Ms. So I have one to zero. And if you want, you can have your students write the ratio in different ways. You could do it like this. Oh, bad, we don't divide by zero, but it's okay. So we can move on. Number of yellow M&Ms, three to green, which is four. So you can make them write a fraction like this or three to four like that. And you just, you just go down um, and fill out the rest of the boxes. Number of red M&Ms, again, that's one to number of brown, three, one to three. Down here, and you just follow through the boxes, and then down here you can create your own ratio. So you can have them label, you know, create their own total to red, whatever they wanna do. Uh, let's see, total to, I'm gonna say green. So my total is gonna be 15 to four. And it's really fun if you wanna have your students, you could throw in another bag, you can have your students combine so they can end up doing this as a partner activity. Uh, you know, just to make the numbers bigger, you can only, you know, maybe you can combine certain, certain colors, whatever you wanna do. This activity is super fun because with Halloween around the corner, candy is everywhere. Kids are a little bit crazy because they're excited about Halloween. They're excited about trick-or-treating. The weather is changing, making all of our students just behave a little bit more crazy. Um, so this is a fun activity. If you wanted to do on a Friday, it works for any day really, but it's just fun to kind of change it up a little bit, have some students do some hands-on stuff, and at the end, they get to eat the candy. If you are interested in downloading this activity for your classroom, click on the link above. It's totally free. You'll be able to access this activity and so much more. I hope you enjoyed this, this activity. Let me know how it goes in your classroom. See you soon. Bye.